Good morning guys. I wasn't expecting to start vlogging this early, which is why I'm laying down in bed to start this vlog and I still have morning voice. Um, if you guys remember, I probably left it in the vlog. I haven't edited any of the vlogs from moving yet, so I don't know what I left in. But there was this couch that my mom and I saw that was amazing. I probably left it in the vlog. I don't know why I wouldn't. So there was this amazing couch that we saw and I ended up ordering it online and it is actually being delivered in like literally four minutes. My delivery window was between 9 and 12 a.m. and I have not adjusted to daylight savings time yet and I've been waking up at like 9. So I had my alarm set for 8.30 and I got a phone call at 8.20 that said it was going to be there in like 15 minutes and I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> so I had to like get up, brush my teeth, pretend that I'm a functioning member of society and I put on like leggings and a sweater and some of my usual sleeping potato sack and then the delivery guy called me like five minutes ago double checking my address because like my address is kind of weird like you can put different endings and it comes up on google maps as the same address I don't know whatever so they're gonna be here in less than five minutes and I'm gonna have a couch and I'm excited so let me go show you guys how like pathetic <laughs> the living room is I have not done like a house tour yet because the whole house is not done yet god I like look like the morning so if you guys can hear there's literally nothing in our living room yet except for like our records and record player and then like some picture frames that are still empty and a lamp a rock and a throw blanket for the couch that is coming through that door, hopefully in a couple of minutes. Let me just turn off the light outside. Ooh, that sounds like delivery people outside. This is Sergio's empty room because he's not here yet either. Yeah, they're there. All right, let's go let the couch in. So I realized that I did not get enough like decorative pillows for two pieces of couches. I don't know why I thought I had enough pillows. I clearly don't. So that'll be a task for a later date. But right now, this is all I've got going on. These did come with these pillows and they just kind of like don't fit my vibe. So I think I'm just going to keep them off. Maybe I'll put them on for now just so it doesn't look so sad. <laughs> but we have couches. I'm so happy. They're so comfortable. and. I'm trying to figure out where I want to keep them. I think I like this placement so that way you have like the fireplace and then if we ever get like a TV, they're pointing at the TV. But then like I almost feel like it's blocking the door to the back, but it's not. But it's just like a little bit weird and I don't want to put it up against the wall because then that's way too far from that wall. And also I think I want to put like a bookcase here. So figuring it all out. So I don't even remember what exactly I have to do today. I have the like index cards that I wrote everything down on because I have like so much random little things that I need to get done. One of the things that I had to get done I did yesterday and that was continue to deconstruct all of the boxes that all of the furniture has come in. And in the process of doing that in true 
Julie fashion, like I don't know how I'm allowed to be an adult and how I'm allowed to live alone because all I have done is injure myself <laughs> and just, I am the world's klutziest person, like it's just, it's not okay. And also I just spilled coffee on the floor while trying to throw it out, of course. What else is new? Um, so yesterday I was deconstructing boxes and I thought I had closed my X-Acto blade that I was using to tear them apart and I didn't and I like slipped while doing something and the cut on my thumb, mom if you're watching I'm okay, obviously I'm not in the hospital, <laughs> um, the cut is really small but I hit my hand so hard that I like bruised myself <laughs> and it hurts. It doesn't hurt like, oh my god, ow, that hurts. It's kind of like this deep ow that's painful. It's a very new kind of sensation. I'm not happy about it. I can't like wash dishes. I can't like really, I can do things. And I'm supposed to go get my nails done today, which I still am. I'm just gonna have to tell the people to be like, please be careful with my thumb, pretty please, because it hurts. So I've managed to deconstruct, I think all of the boxes that I have had from furniture deliveries. I think they're all taken apart, smashed into smaller sizes and in the garage waiting for Sergio to come home in a couple of days and uh, go find a landfill or the garbage dump or whatever they do out here because they don't pick up garbage. I feel like I've ranted about this already, but I don't think I ranted about it on camera. Basically in New York, when you put out your garbage, you put out the bags like out onto the street. You don't typically put the actual bins outside. I don't even know if you're allowed to, but like no one does that. Maybe some people do, but most people just like take the garbage bags, drag them out to the curb, and you leave them on the curb. I guess since I'm like technically kind of like in the woods here, that would just be asking for like creatures and bears and stuff to come eat my garbage. So I have a lot of recycling and a lot of garbage from all the furniture that's just in my garage now because the first garbage day, I did not really know their method of how they do garbage and they didn't pick up any of my garbage even the stuff that was in bins because here the bins need to face a certain direction the lids need to have like up to six inches of space from where the lid closes on top they need to be spaced out away from each other because it's not even people that pick up the garbage here it's the actual like garbage truck it has this like crazy claw thing and it picks up your bin and it throws it in it's bizarre and I had no idea that like other garbage would be in the way of this contraction working or anything. So my first garbage day, all of my garbage was still outside. And then I had garbage in my garbage. That kind of stunk because there was some food garbage in there too. Waiting a whole nother week for garbage day because there's also only one garbage day, not two. In New York, there's two a week. Here, there's only one week. Um, Thankfully they picked up my garbage this week, but there's no way that I can get, oh, and they also don't pick up like contractor sized bags, which are like the double sized bags basically. And that's what I've been using for most of the like styrofoam and stuff that has come off of, that has come off of, has come out of all of the furniture that I've been making. Furniture, furniture, furniture. Point of the story is I have this giant cut right here. I've got a little one on my finger. I don't really need to show you guys. There's a little one here. There was one here. It's just, I am a mess. <laughs> I should not be allowed near sharp objects. And then I also shouldn't really be allowed at the gym because I did drop a 45 pound plate on my foot. Panicked, thought I broke my foot again because it was the same foot that I broke last time. Didn't break my foot. It was slightly in pain. I managed to finish my leg day and I'm perfectly fine. I can like dance on it and everything. But uh, shouldn't be allowed to function on my own, honestly. I am a disaster, just. So I've made myself look mildly presentable now. I actually wanted to show you guys, I got Sergio a bunch of vegetarian meat options because he's still a vegetarian. I personally am not, mostly because I'm allergic to most of the things that vegetarians and vegans use as like their protein substitutes, like soy. Doesn't work for me. But I got him a whole bunch of stuff. If any of you guys are vegetarians or vegans and you have any like meat substitute, like things that are your favorites, let me know in the comments down below because I obviously don't know much about it and he doesn't remember what he liked before. I've seen people talking about this Sweet Earth brand, so I got him this breakfast burrito and this one. Honestly, don't know, but I'm pretty sure both of them are based on soy. Actually, no, this one's Vital Wheat Gluten, so I could probably actually eat that one, but this one is tofu-based, so I can't do this one, so 
This one is a possibility for me, surprisingly. And then I've heard a lot about this Morningstar brand, their sausage patties. And then I got him the Gardein Ultimate Beefless Ground, which sounds like it should be like beefless ground beef, but it's not. I got this for whenever I make my turkey mush so that I can make him some separate and we could basically be eating the same thing for dinner. So I don't have to make him like a separate dinner whenever I'm making that. But this one again is soy protein based. So for me, it's a no, but for him, yes. I got these Morningstar chicken strips for like salad maybe. If I'm ever making a salad and I make chicken in it, I can make his with this chicken. I've seen these around. These are the Gardein crispy chicken sliders. Who doesn't love a good slider? And then the last thing that I got him, I'm pretty sure like my fridge is full of like berries and things for my smoothie bowls. Like I've got acai and mangoes and these are raspberries and strawberries, just a whole bunch of stuff. But the last thing in here that is a meat substitute is the Morningstar sausage links. Again, 100% vegetarian. This one. It's got wheat gluten and soy protein isolate. And unrelated to meat substitutes, although I've heard that jackfruit, when cooked a certain way, can be like kind of meaty in texture. I got jackfruit for myself to try it because I've heard about it. And uh, I'm allergic to so much stuff, my mouth instantly reacted to this. And <laughs> that was not fun, so he gets to have my jackfruit because I'm allergic, of course, because what am I not allergic to? Basically the only things that make me not vegetarian on the daily is dinner time, I will have a piece of chicken breast or some like ground turkey and that's pretty much or like fish but he eats fish too so I think that's technically like pescatarian so basically birds and fish are the reason that I am not a vegetarian and very rarely I will go out and get burgers but usually places now have like a turkey burger alternative and I will usually get the turkey burger or like a chicken sandwich but I really don't eat red meat and I would totally go vegetarian, but sometimes I just need some protein and vegetarian substitutes either just don't do it for me or I'm allergic to them and it sucks. Anyway, I am about to go head outside and go get these nails done. If you guys saw my last day before I moved here vlog, I was going to go get a Manny and Petty with Jennifer and the place just had two people working and was weirdly packed for I think it was like a Wednesday it was weird so I ended up not getting my nails done then and since then I have not had my nails done because I've just been so busy doing everything around the house I haven't even had time to paint my own nails and I still need that pedicure please do not mind the state of my office right now like I just kind of have my perfume collection sitting up there for now I don't know if I'm gonna leave it there and like most of it is in there but that's where I want to put like photo stuff I was in the supermarket two days ago like at night after the gym and i'm walking through the aisles looking at what all of the aisles have in them like you know they say like chips and candy and soda why did i go straight to like the unhealthy section but i'm just staring up as i'm walking and some guy who works in the store was like hey do you need help finding something and i was like no i'm good he's like because usually when someone's doing this they need help finding something it's like um i need help finding my brain because i don't remember what i came here for <laughs> And he was just like, okay, <laughs> crazy lady. I need to, my printer was supposed to arrive yesterday and it didn't. I have a lot of stuff I need to print. I need to go bring something to my property managers that's printed out. I need to set up my Mercari again. It's been down because I haven't had a printer, but I'm gonna set up my Mercari. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description box down below, guys, if you guys wanna shop my closet. I've got a lot of stuff that I've either only worn once or like never. So much clothing, I have a problem. And now that I have it all in like, one closet i'm definitely gonna be cleaning out even more because i just i can see all of my stuff in one place and i have a problem there's too much clothing so keep your eyes on my mercari for cute clothes of mine that honestly most of it has not been worn um i need to return some things to amazon i bought a drill on amazon and then sergio bought a drill and he didn't tell me that he bought a drill and his drill is gonna be better than the drill that i bought so i need to return the one that i bought because why do we need two drills guys i feel like a human again i have nice nails a nice pedicure my camera's dying of course because i just wanted to vlog and it looks like i haven't even left because i took a different battery in this camera turns out that battery was just as dead as the battery that is now in here nice and charged but i feel like a human again i got my nails done i got my toes done <laughs> the girl who did my nails she like looked at my feet and she asked when was the last time that i had a pedicure and i was like um <laughs> a while ago and she said my feet looked rough and i was like girl i know that's why i'm here <laughs> to get them to look 
not rough. And she said that I'm lucky that she's doing my feet and not a man, because a man would run. And I told her that is why I am here today, because my man's is coming home in like two to three days, and he already doesn't like feet. And if he saw what state my feet were in, <laughs> this was sitting. Oh, can you guys hear that? One of the weirdest things about living like not even that close to an army post like i thought i was pretty far but uh you hear all of the training exercises going on and uh the marines are in town and they like explode these cannons i'm gonna see if i could find like a clip of what they really sound like obviously now that i open the window you're gonna hear birds chirping but like these these cannons i think they're they're called like the triple sevens or m sevens or something like i don't know some sort of explodey thing and sergey was like haha wait till the marines come to town in the summer because they explode those things and um like less than a day later they got here early <laughs> and my house has literally been shaking i mean i if i didn't know what it was i would think that the world is ending but since i sort of like had an idea and i've seen people posting in facebook groups because i joined a whole bunch of like facebook groups of people who live around here people who live in a town a good 30 minutes further away from the post than me have been saying oh my god what are they doing this year they are like louder than ever no one has ever experienced the level of house shaking that we have had and you know, I've gotten used to it. I managed to like sleep through it because they have no hours. They're soldiers 24 seven. They'll be blowing those things up at like two o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to sleep, they don't care. But before the explosion happened, I don't think you guys even heard. This was on my friend's porch. Every time I turn the camera on the explosion stop. Damn, I've been really trying to get one of these like loud house rattling explosions on camera, but I keep missing them. There's like no consistency. There'll be like seven of them, 10 minute pause, two of them, one minute pause, five of them. Like guys, be more consistent with your explosions. I need to show the YouTubes what it's like to live near an army post. <laughs> My house just shook. I don't know if you could hear it. But the house shook. I don't know if like the camera picks up the sound of the house shaking, but like literally I just heard like things in my kitchen rumble. <laughs> I actually think that I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because I am about to head out to the gym and then possibly making that homecoming sign. We shall see. I'm currently like playing around with fonts because I'm not really like, what, what do they call it? Like hand lettering, calligraphy, like I don't have that talent, but I can try to copy a font kind of like base it off of that on a board. So we shall see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. And you guys should totally find me across all of my social media platforms. I'm going to be posting so many pictures of my house once it's like cute. We're like getting there. Almost there. There's going to be a lot of pictures coming soon. So make sure that you are following me across the entire internet. Links to everything are always in the description box down below. And if you are new here, welcome. I should have welcomed you in the beginning, but I did not. If you're not already subscribed, you should hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I post new videos three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. I feel like that was longer than normal. I need to, like, condense my outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!